Hi everyone and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to play with my makeup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my face right down the middle and on the one side I'm going to highlight and contour and everything the way I usually would. And on the other side I'm going to swap the colors and see what it turns out like. And this is because yesterday I was like why don't I cream contour I haven't done it in a while and the color blended a lot farther than I thought it would and I was thinking how far would it blend if I had applied it like my light concealer. So why don't I try it out? I want to compare the two sides, see how it looks. I'm expecting it to look really, really bad. And if it doesn't turn out really bad, I would actually be really confused. It would be really weird if it were to look good to have dark underneath your eyes and everything. So let's try it out and see how it goes. To get started, I'm going to apply this LA Girl Pro Liquid Foundation in the color Fair. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it out all over my face. What I usually do for concealer is I take these two by LA Girl in the color Natural and Porcelain and I apply them underneath my eyes, between my brows, on my nose and around my mouth. So that's what I'm going to do with these. Now for the other side, I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Toast. This is my liquid contour and I'm going to use it in all the same areas I just applied that. And I'm going to try and apply the same amount so that I don't have too much on one side and then this doesn't blend but this does because it has a different amount. So let's see how this goes. This already feels like a bad idea, but I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend this out. And I'm going to use the one side for all the light concealer and the other side for all the dark concealer so that the colors don't mix. I got a nice mud face going on, but that was to be expected. To set the concealer, I'm going to use these two nude shades from my rose gold palette. I'm just going to pick it up on a fluffy brush and I'm going to work it on underneath my eyes so that it doesn't crease there. And then I'm just going to pick up a little bit more and make sure this area isn't as shiny as it is. For the dark side, I think I'm going to pick up this light brown shade and I'm going to do the exact same thing with it. Just try and set everything and see if it makes a difference. Now for the contouring part, I'm going to use the same dark concealer and I'm going to apply it here on my cheeks, here around my forehead and the smallest bit on my jaw and on my nose. To blend that out, I'm going to use this flat headed brush and hopefully buff it out in all the right areas. For the other side, I'm going to use this Pure Nude Essence Stick Concealer. This side I'm just going to blend out with my Beauty Blender so that I don't use the brush with the dark stuff on it on this side. I'm going to go in with the same two sets of colors and just set everything again. I forgot how extremely tan this contour makes me look. And I think that's the reason I stopped using it so much because it's just a lot more blending. But in the summertime it's nice, but for now it's winter, not so much. And I think the one good thing about 
how I'm doing my makeup now is you can see exactly all the areas I'm placing the colors because it doesn't blend into my skin like it does on this side. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows and quickly do the rest of my makeup a little bit so you can get like a finished effect. While I'm using actual highlight, I think I'm going to do the same thing with swapping the colors. So I'm using this really light baby pink one and I'm applying it underneath my eyebrow and I'm going to be applying it on my cupid's bow as well. I'm also going to apply a little bit here on the tip of my nose right there and a little bit up there. And for the other side, I'm going to use this golden one and mix it with this dark brown one, these two and I'm going to apply in the same areas. For blush, I'm going to use this peachy one with a touch of that one on this side and just blend it out up there. And I'm going to use the same color on the other side and just apply it until you can see it the same amount. This is what I look like when I normally do my makeup. I feel everything is blended and contoured and everything's done well the way I would usually do it. And then on the other side, I can't exactly say the same thing. My nose isn't slimmed down, my face actually looks rounder than it was before and of course everything's an absolute mess because the colours are on all the wrong places. And I'm smiling normally now, the same way I'm smiling on the other side, but it looks so much more unnatural on this side. I think it's just because my face looks all funny and pulled out because of the dark there. I think it makes my lip look nice and big. It really does oh, give me a chubby lip and on the other side it's just nice and highlighted. So, oh yeah, if you want to make your lips look bigger, clearly, just apply a dark color around them. And then for everything else, I have no words. I really wanted to try this for the heck of it. I hope you enjoyed it or got something out of this video. I wouldn't necessarily say it was informative, but I hope it was fun to watch. Now I'm just going to go wash my face before I actually go out in public. And then I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.